Hey everyone, welcome to Market Watch. It is time to discuss the Digimon trading card game market. Tomorrow is officially um, EX6 release day. We're going to look at a lot of EX6 cards now, a few other cards, and we're going to see just where everything is at and what we should do about it today. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification on Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all of these amazing Digimon videos go live. Um, besides that, besides that, um, I actually, I'm pretty much recording this now, like you guys can see what time it is right now over here. Um, it's going right on YouTube. I didn't want to do the record on a Wednesday night, upload Thursday morning type thing, because I wanted the, uh, the data I'm showing you to be as real time as possible to make this a little more accurate. But uh, let's get started here with the Omnimons, as per tradition, nothing too crazy. Uh, this BT5 box topper is down, which is really cool, I'd probably buy this up now. Besides that, uh, make sure you have Merciful Mode, and that's about it. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you my um, sort of guesstimations as to what's going to happen here with the pre-sales and all this for a lot of cards here. Um, again, these are just these are guesstimations based on previous set trends um, and future support and other things. We'll see what happens, but the the night the 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 common theme here is things will be falling in price. Just so you know, like this booster box prices, they will most likely be falling in price. Um, I know stores around me in Canada eh, that you can grab this for retail. So like you can definitely find these boxes for a lot cheaper than one twenty two. TCG player can't help you. I'm sure your LGS can or 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 an LGS can. Full Art Miri um, is right now the most expensive card in the set that is not a lottery card at 100 bucks basically. Uh, this will fall. Uh, this this will definitely go down. I don't know how much, but it will. It will definitely, definitely, definitely go down in price. Uh, I know it's a bit you know, waifu-ish. I hate to use that term. Yeah, but like, it'll go down. Absolutely. Um, Agudamon, the other alternate art seeker rare being the second most expensive card, obviously. Here at 66 bucks, uh, this will also go down in price. Um, that being said, um, these are cards you don't really need four copies of. Uh, people have raised an argument for four copies of Miri and Mastamon. Uh, people haven't really raised an argument for four copies of this in Demon Lords. That will affect the price because it's not like you need a whole bunch, but we do have expensive secret rares. They only play like one or two copies of like that Xmon and Ruin Mode and all that fun stuff. Um, and these will actually be meta. Well, Demon Lord will be tier one, absolutely. Miri's probably in the tier two range if I had to like put it fairly. So that well, it's for the price of the card, but this we've seen with with the Arena before. It will drop, but it'll probably bounce right back up after release day. And this will probably drop, but bounce right back up after release day. I don't think it'll hop up back to these prices that they're at right now. But release day, as in tomorrow, are the days that you're going to buy this card. These cards. Seeker Rares in general, too. Like the Miri and the um, wherever Agudamon is. There there it is. There it is. Um, Agudamon here at 60 bucks. Miri at 70 bucks. Again, these will drop tomorrow, and then you'll have a chance to buy them for um, the good price before they potentially bounce back up in price, because we've seen this before with both of these. We, we've seen it. We have historical trends to show us that secret rares like this will definitely rise back up. Where they'll rise back up to, we don't know, but you will be able to get a cheaper on release day than the pre-sales, uh, and hopefully you take advantage of that. Lilith Mon is an $80 alternate art. I think you can look at the card and understand why right now it is an $80 ultimate art, alternate art. I don't think I have to point that out to you, but it will drop. It will definitely drop in price, um, so don't worry about it. Loose Mon Chaos Mon alternate art. Um, this will drop in price. However, this card is something that I would invest in uh, after release day or on release day because of that loose month support in the future, where this card will become a four of in that deck, because it's of its ability to play out the loose month Satan mode, it will be a four of. And by then, EX6 will be really hard to find, the price will increase. So while it will be cheaper on release day, and for a little bit after that, 
the Lusamon hype at some point will cause this card and its Super War counterpart to explode. I don't know how high the explosion will be, but it will explode. Mark my words. Uh, Randlord Ace will drop. This deck is not very good. 38 bucks is a war crime. Um, Ophanimon Ace. The only decks really playing this are Yellow Vaccine, uh, as well as may maybe you'll try splashing it in here and there somewhere else. Maybe you're building the 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 yellow red uh, DNA Sylphimon deck from BT16. Uh, not really worth the price. It will fall in price. Uh, this Diabormon Altart. This it looks good. I'm gonna be real. This alternate art looks really really good card. Now it is Diabormon. And it was actually performing in EX6 in Japan, if you guys remember that. So I do expect this to fall a little bit. It is Diabormon. Uh, hype will keep it expensive, but it will fall a little bit. It will be cheaper than what it is right now. Those are the opportunity to bounce back in the future because BT17 hype, yes it does. Uh, but until then, uh, it'll, it'll fall a little bit. Lusamon is 60 bucks. Uh, this will definitely fall. Uh, there are even pre-sales going for 30 bucks. Uh, this is a bit of an anomaly. It will not be 60 bucks. Uh, 30 is more reasonable, but that will you know even be cheaper than that probably. But again, same with the chaos mode. Um, grab these before loose one hype hits hard. Beelzemon alternate art, 50 bucks. Uh, this will fall absolutely positively. You see, I was pre selling for 30, and you have this store really trying to milk people. This Pokemon collectibles is trying to milk you. Like, like, grab those udders and they're and they're going. They're they're going. They're milking. Uh, it will fall. It will fall. Um, Mastermon Ace, same deal. This will fall in price. That's the alternate art. Plus, there's a lottery card version for the actual max rarity. Ultimate Chaos Mon will fall because this card is just not that good. Uh, it'll fall a lot, I'm sure. Uh, Shakamon, it, it's it, it uh, it'll fall. This card will fall. Uh, Creepy Mon. This card is really, really important in Demon Lords. You do kind of need four copies of it. That being said, it will not be 40 bucks uh, tomorrow. So there you go. Uh, Barbamon, I, it has such cool art alt arts, I will say that. But uh, it'll fall. Yep, it'll fall. Uh, Leviamon, alternate art, again, it'll fall. Um, Cherubimon Ace. This is the uh, regular super rare, by the way, at 20 bucks. Th this will fall. This will definitely go down on price. Absolutely. Uh, loose mode, chaos mode. Again, 20 bucks. This will fall, but definitely make sure you have your copies of these after release day, because you're going to need them for the future, and you might as well grab them before they get expensive. Um, Diaboromon, same as the regular alternate art. I expect the super rare one to fall a lot. Um, oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned this. This is an EX set, so unless something changes, there will be three alternate arts per box. Um, again, it'll be easier to pull the alternate arts. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but it'll be easier to pull alternate arts in this set than um, a regular base set, per se. Uh, that will affect the prices of these cards because they'll be quite all over the place in comparison to other sets. Um, Ryan the Ace will drop from 15. And again, that's not very good. Uh, Barbamon will probably drop from 8. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it'll drop. Uh, Lilithmon... Uh, 15 bucks. Again, you can see why it's 15 bucks right now, but it will drop for sure. Oh, by the way, the Lothmon cards, I forgot to mention, because of the Lothmon X support coming up, again, wait till release day, wait till a little bit after release day, but then maybe make sure you have your copies because hype will carry the price later on. Uh, anyway, uh, Ophani Ace, again, it'll drop. Uh, Mastermon Ace, it'll drop. Uh, the Dominionmon, Dominion, Dominion, it'll drop. Um, Shakamon, it'll drop. Uh, Belfamon, Rage One Alternate Art, already pretty cheap. It was pre-selling for this already, and then the Pokemon Collectibles is trying to milk you again. Uh, it'll drop for sure. We got, uh, Sheng, Sheng Peng? Sheng Peng? I don't know how to say that card's name. But, uh, eight bucks, uh, it'll drop for sure. It's not very good. Uh, Ultimate Chaosmon will probably be a bulk super by the time this set is out. 
Uh, Gate of Deadly Sins right now with shipping is a $5 rare. I expect it to be exactly where Ygdra Ygdra King Drazzle was in the English, which was a dollar or two. Uh, Magnamon X. Now we're outside of BT6, uh, EX6. I think I made my point that most of the stuff, everything will drop on release day. You have a couple cards in there, like the Secret Rares, the Loose Mon Chaos, maybe the Diabor Mon, maybe the Lilith Mons, that you might want to make sure you have your copies of. Um, it's important because those are the cards that tend to bounce up in price when sets like this come out. Now, there is a big difference. The comparing set, so to speak, is BT13 because of Royal Knights. And it was the same stick. All the Royal Knights had alternate arts and blah, blah, blah. Big difference, though, is that um, more alt arts in a box as opposed to BT13 because BT13 was a core set. EX6 is not. It is DLC as far as a lot of people think it is. So it will be a change on the formula, so to speak. You, you will get pleasantly surprised by some of the card prices when they drop tomorrow and this weekend you will but do definitely make sure you have your secret rares because in ex sets sets those are the first ones to bounce up and then the rest is meta dependent hype dependent and we kind of covered which ones are meta dependent and which ones are kind of hype dependent uh as far as demon lords go the only ones you usually put multiples of are creepy mon and Beelzemon out of the new set so those are the ones that people are going to eat up the hardest because the rest are just like one of two ofs, if that, like, not a super huge deal. And the rest of the stuff is kind of whatever. Uh, Madden X is 50 bucks. Yep. I will expect it to maybe go down a little bit more in price, but probably not much lower than that. Uh, interestingly, though, Rapid Mon X is increasing in price again. Now it's 43 bucks. Um, the reason why is because Rapid X is good, you know. Despite what people on the internet will tell you, Rapid X can sync up a lot of this nonsense from EX6. There are a lot of cards in EX6 that destroy things. Rapid X just says, "Yeah, it's fine." <laughs> uh, like, and I've done the testing. I've done. I've done it. Rapid X Yellow Vaccine, good, good, good deck in EX6. You don't have to play three Great Angels. You can play Rapid X Vaccine. You can do that if you want to. So it doesn't surprise me this card is actually going up in price. Uh, I don't think it'll hit Magnet X, though I won't be surprised if it does. It's a little bit of prediction for you there. Then we have Death X Mon dropping. Um, the This is one listing. I mean, 59 bucks is where it usually has been. Um, we do know this card is getting reprinted, I think, in December. So it's still a little while away. People, still, people will still need their Death, X, Death X's for five months before that. Um, it won't fall too much until then. Then we have Lugamon Altart, who's actually still continuing to go up, so make sure you sell yours if you have them. Then we have Andromon Altart. This is your warning. This is your warning. This is your warning. Once this one goes, it's 50 bucks. Uh, anything that's affected by EX6, the hype is coming, and it will come hard, really hard, this weekend. It will come. It will. Uh, some cards have already came. Uh, Venus Mon I brought up because it's down in price. Make sure you grab your Venus Mons because the card's really good. Uh, but something like Balfamon Rage Mode, for instance, exploded all over the market because it was nothing, and this card is played in Demon Lords. Or, sorry, you can play this card in Demon Lords. So it is going up in price because of it. This is a card that is sitting in my bulk supers that I'm probably just going to find. And, uh, yeah. That is really it for today. Um, we will compare the prices on this next week to see just how far things have fallen, which is why I did it this way. But let me know what you guys think, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.